welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. Let's try to find the Yaga. They've got that whole normal things that should look quaint and safe except they look horrifically scary thing down to a fine art. It's a really pretty flower. Where's Crow at, by the way? I'm sure they haven't abandoned me, right? This is all very grim. I'm expecting an evil queen and a sleeping beauty at any time. Mother of Ravens! I don't feel very welcome. I mean, this isn't just a bad sign. It's all the bad signs, all at once, like a grab bag of ill omens. There are plenty of stones lying about. Let's just pick one and pretend it's the soul stone. It's not like anyone would know what it's supposed to look like. I'm not saying I won't cross it, but I do expect the bridge to do something terrible to me. Oh, come on. <laughs> This looks like one of those pivotal moments where the audience is yelling at the heroine, Don't go through the gate! Are you crazy? Ah! Oh, my tiny bird heart. I have a bad feeling about this, Zoe. Dark, scary farther. cave. No way to I get around it. Smell. Fairy tale convention. Men sailed and rotting life. flesh. Miserable. Smells like witches, all right. Is it my imagination, or is the light changing? Is it getting darker? Am I going blind? Help! Do you I'm hear glad voices? I have Crow here. I Regardless of how useless. Too many people talking like at the same time. voices. Disembodied voices are never a good anything. sign. What's worse than a twisting path into darkness? I feel strange. I felt this way before when I was... when I was in a coma. Inside story time. I must be on the border between waking and dreams. The only thing stopping me from running in the opposite direction right now is knowing I'll have to pass through that cave again. They're... they're speaking. It's freaky. What's worse than a twisting path into darkness through thorny bushes and sharp naked branches? The wicked a witch is gone. Of course, there's and a she is here now. She'll eat you up, like she ate all of us. She tricked us. She trapped us. She cooked us. So what now? She Do we just us. go up and knock on the door? We're the children I don't see a doorbell. <laughs> no, this is neither the time us. nor place for levity. Save yourself. Oh, I know. Go. It's obviously trying really hard to creep us out so that we don't visit it. Not gonna work, Yaga. Okay, so maybe not just a house after all. I didn't realize I could walk in the swamp. Well, kinda. I wanna go over to the window. You have something that's not yours. Leave, monkey. Not until you give me the soul stone. We do not know what you speak of. Whoa. My whole body's tingling. I can change things. I can manipulate this dream. Cool. 
Hmm. Probably have to use that to my advantage, I'm guessing. Please, I need to speak with the Yaga. There are three mines in there. But which one's the Yaga? I can hear several voices, all of them angry. It's so loud, so strong. I can't... I can't keep listening. She's too strong. I should run or I think I need to get through that door. Did I just like slow down time? That was easy. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Wait, the sky? Is this story time? But it's not like how I remember it. It looks... older. It looks a lot... older. Aren't you a clever monkey? Hush, sister. Don't speak to it. Just let it lose itself in the dark. It'll weaken, and then we can eat it. It'll probably taste honey sweet, like a newborn babe. Do not underestimate this one, sisters. There's something different about it. Hello? Maybe not so clever after all. <laughs> We're hungry. We need to eat. Not long now. You must be tired, monkey. Your eyes grow heavy. Sleep. We'll watch over you. Show yourselves. There must be something I could do other than just trying to go for it, right? It's just going to keep moving, isn't it? Is it not asleep yet? Lie down and shut your eyes, monkey. Let us feed. That's not going to happen. It answers back. Like a thing with a mind of its own. A very clever monkey. This one has spirit and something else. Something powerful. You're 
or the Wicker Witch of now, the North. Now, there's no need for insults. We are... The Yaga. No monkey has ever been here before. We're curious about you. We? The sisters. Bayeb Ayaga. Bayeb Aya... Baba Yaga. Older than time. Older than memory. Old as darkness. Always three. Not always, sister. In the beginning, the Yaga was one, and then everything unraveled. Light came, worlds were born, monkeys bred and became legion, and the one became three. You are from across the divide, from a world ruled by machines. That's right. But not really here at all. Dreaming. Apparently so. We thought there was only one dreamer. You were mistaken. Something made you. That's interesting. We didn't see this coming. We do so love surprises. What do you want from us, monkey? The Soul Stone. You stole it. Luke stole it first. Only fair that we stole it back. What do you want with it? To bring it back where it belongs. To cure Lux. Lux is the... Lux is the first dreamer. We know. Oh, we know. You cannot teach us things, monkey. We were there in the darkness, in the time before time, before all this terrible brightness, before you monkeys spoiled it. We had the soul stone then. It fed us and made us strong. But Lux took it so that Lux could dream. We were there when Lux dreamed the first dream and the stars were born and everything came apart. If we give you the stone, we fade from memory. We will be forgotten. It's all that anchors us when there's no one left to worship and fear us. But they do worship you, don't they? In the city, they've built effigies to the Wicker Witch. The Wicker Witch! A bedtime story, a spineless fairy tale for nestlings. No one truly fears the Yaga anymore. Our power is diminished. I don't know. People need darkness. They need to be frightened. In my world, scary is popular. There are films, games, haunted houses. Playthings. We are less than we were. We remember feeding, our stomachs bloated with flesh and fear. Well, things change. That's how it goes. Maybe, instead of giving you the soul stone, we eat you up. All your delicious memories. All your dreaming powers. Your soul will keep us warm and sated. How's that gonna help anyone? Help? What makes you think we'll help? We owe the universe nothing, monkey. We owe looks nothing. Why should we care if the dream ends? Perhaps... If you give us a little morsel, a taste of you... What can you offer us? Offer? A sin. A secret. Something dark. Something you keep deep inside and fear to reveal. I... Oh. I knew Reza wouldn't like the sausages I bought him for lunch that time. I did that because... because I was tired of our routine, of how our relationship had stagnated. The sausages. Yes. Or... I promised Hannah I wouldn't tell Queenie where she was hiding, but I did it anyway. And what for? I'm not even sure I believed I was helping Hannah. It was currency. No, definitely the sausages. Instead of giving someone I'm supposed to love and care for the thing he wanted, I did the opposite. And I did that because I was angry. Lashing out in anger. But so what? Had you harmed him, we'd have something. Had you killed him, we might have been sated. But this! This is nothing. I, pr I betrayed a friend's trust and revealed her secret to someone else. Not a betrayal. Not a selfish lie, not cowardice. This nibble tastes like ash 
and only serves to stoke our ravenous hunger. Still, we'll take this little piece of you. It belongs to us now, and you'll have no memory of it. And in exchange, you'll give me the Soul Stone? We will not. We made no promises. The Soul Stone is ours. We need it. If you do that, you'll not only be destroying everything and everyone, you'll be all alone. Who will worship and fear you when they're all gone? So what else can you offer us, monkey? What can you give of yourself to prove that this matters? I don't know. You demand that we give up the thing that feeds us and keeps us warm. And you cannot make a similar sacrifice. You're right. I can't. I don't have what you're asking for. I'm human. I've made terrible decisions, but I don't linger on those decisions. I move forward and live with the consequences. Shame, anger, disappointment, regret. That's not what feeds me. I survive because I let go every day. Because I have hope and faith in the future. Not because I look back. That goes for most people. And all I want is to give those people a chance to make their choices, good or bad, and carry on living and learning. If that's not enough for you, then I have nothing. And if I don't, if I fail to bring the Soul Stone to the first dreamer, Lux dies. The dream ends. There will be no one around to remember any of us, or the choices we've made that brought us here. It all hinges on this moment in time. We know this, little monkey. This is why we are giving you the Soul Stone. But you must do one thing for us in return. Anything, as long as it's mine to give. You must remember us when the dream is in you. The world needs us. Without the sisters, without the Yaga, there is no fear, no imagination. Every dream needs a nightmare. I don't think I could forget, even if I tried. Yes, I'll remember you. Good. 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 Here is the Soul Stone. Take it, use it to wake Lux. We would have done it ourselves, but the Dreamer Monkey is the only one with that power. How do I get there? Someone's coming, little furry thing. They will gift you a beast to ride. Go to Lux. You will feel Lux like a lantern in the dark. Follow the light. Save the dream, Dreamer. Become one with the first. What does that mean? You'll find out. And a clever monkey. Beware the wizard of lies. He schemes, he plots. He wishes to remake the world. He wears a mask. He harbors ambitions. He always did. But now, there's something in him. It's a dangerous thing. I wish I remembered who Lux was. Where did you disappear to? I have a thing about huge monster houses. I don't like them. Oh, you're the worst sidekick. That's what they keep telling me. I honestly don't know why. Let's go back and find the furry little halfling thing again. I bet you he didn't wait for us. I bet you he's long gone. She is letting us go. I bet what you, you he has a creature for us We're to ride. Free. According to what the Yaga Time said. To go. Thank you, Dreamer. Find Luke's. Save the dream. Is 
this the one? That's her. That's Zoe. You face Yaga and live? This is impossible. Who are you? Might as well go with what everyone calls me here. Zoe Castillo, dreamer. Zoe Castillo, dreamer. She know who she is. Impressive, that, for human. Well, Zoe Castillo, dreamer, how you survive meeting Yaga without losing your self? You strike bargain like witches of old. Sell your self to Yaga for freedom and power. Do you serve Yaga now? I don't serve anyone. And no bargain. I just... I'd like to learn more about the Yaga. Maybe this one knows something. I don't have time to talk about the Yaga. I... Who is the Yaga? I only know what elders tell me when I was child. And I only ever encounter Yaga's servants. One of them lived in this forest before. She was Gribbler. Twisted, ancient, evil thing. No one but Yaga know what Yaga truly is. Those who face her never come home, aside from you. My grandmother tell me Yaga was born before beginning of time. Lux and Yaga, light and dark, dream and nightmare. Balance is in everything, human. When our world takes shape, so did Yaga. One became three. Three sisters. Innocence, age, decay. All aspects of life. More than the first dreamer, Yaga understand life. She understand mortality. Mortality in her blood. Maybe why she hate the living so much. Why she grew mean and hungry. She spread her will across world into witches and warlocks, sorcerers and necromancers, the weak and malleable. But as old magic fade, so do Yaga. Wizard Klax and Gribbler were two of her last servants, and April Ryan defeated them both. After that, they say, Yaga was diminished. Now, Wicker Witch of North is joke to humans of Mercuria. They remember nothing of what she was. They never see their young eaten by night. But Yaga is not the night that threatens world now. Her darkness is different darkness, one that balances light, necessary darkness. She is nightmare that feeds imagination. The other darkness, well, other darkness is deeper and final. A black fire that spreads and burns until nothing left, until time itself is ashes. Even Yaga feared this darkness. I believe that's why she let me go, so that I can help. You got the soul stone? You carry soul stone? What soul stone? You can trust Bendu, Masiri Zoe. She is an elder. She returned from exile to help me find those who survived. I have Lux's soul stone. I need to take it north to the Ula. Ula? Why Ula? You know them. I heard of Ula in stories. Ancient people inhabit ruins of their own civilization, high in border mountains. You know where to go? I've seen a map. They live on Cloud Peak in the mountains of Yedra. Maps deceive. Go north and then west. A week's journey on foot before you start climb. We don't have a week. Rushing, rushing, rushing into anything is unwise. You carry Soulstone to Ula for what reason? 
to return it to the first dreamer. Lux is with Ula? So my visions tell me. Your visions? I know this is hard to believe, but I promise I'm... I believe, I believe. No need to promise. Story too unbelievable for Mole not to believe. Take leap for human. Ride north, swift as wind. You will reach mountains by first light tomorrow. Leapfur can climb at least part of way. You'll be with Ula in less than two days. She said someone would come, but that thing? Is it safe? I have no idea how to ride that. Not to worry. Leapfur know well enough for both of you. What will you do without a mount? We use feet. Mole's not in rush. We walk slowly so that those of Banda who still live can hear us coming and meet us. We're going east, Zoe. We'll follow the Banda who fled the Azadi. Maybe they still live. Maybe they... We will find them, little one. Take beast. Go north. Do what needs doing. I feel darkness coming. Black fire. Cold as ocean. Perhaps you can stop this, dreamer. Nothing lost, nothing gained. Goodbye, Zoe. Thank you, Ben. And good luck. I hope you find your people again. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. It's not often I get to see you. Why this place? It's safe. And, uh, symbolic, maybe? It was a safe house, before it was raided by Azadi soldiers. Under Kian's command. I see. So, what news do you have for me, Elena? Your message said- Kian has left for Gian, together with Liko, the Dolmari warrior. For Guillen? The prison camp for magicals? Light. Why? What does he hope to accomplish there? This is Kian we're talking about. He believes he can save everyone. He also believes Guillen holds the key to the future of the Empire. But breaking into a fortified prison camp? He won't stand a chance. That's why I messaged you, Mother. This might be an opportunity. You did the right thing, child. Come, let's talk. We do not have much time. All I remember about that red-haired person, uh, what was her name, Elena? Is I think a while ago, didn't they meet up with Keon and like try to kiss him or something? So based on that meeting, like at first I thought that she was an informant telling on Keon, but it I don't, like, I know we've seen the mother before, but I forgot what position she holds in the Azadi, or exactly who she is, but I get the impression that she's not exactly on the Azadi's side. Obviously, neither of them. scale the fence over there and make our way into- We should split up. You've read too many copper coin serials, Liko. Splitting up makes us vulnerable. Stay together, we could both end up dead. Part ways, and one of us might still make it out, even if the other doesn't. That's a possibility, but I still think- Besides, one of us has to locate the administrator's quarters. How do you know there'll be one of them? This is an Azadi camp, Kian. There will be detailed records and documents. 
If you want to find a single prisoner amongst thousands, you'll need records. I'll climb the fence, enter the camp, create a distraction. I look like the prisoners. I can speak to them. If necessary, I can blend in. You find the administrator and the records. That tower looks like a good place to start. Where do we meet? If we make it that far, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Try not to die. You still owe me your life. Oh, I intend to stay alive. I hope you're on good terms with your gods. I'm on excellent terms with my gods. If I'm going to find prisoner records anywhere in this camp, it'll most likely be inside that tower. That section of the prison walls appears to be part of the old castle fortifications, from when the Necromancer King ruled Guienne. The wall connects with the tower. If I can get up there, I might find a way in. Ooh. S soldiers over there? Christ, they're everywhere. Oh, I think I see handholds. Wait, what's this? It's steep and slippery. I don't see how I can climb up from here. Yeah, over here looks good. Yeah. This wall isn't quite as sheer, and it has outcrops and footholds. I might be able to scale it. This looks like a good place to start climbing. Oh. <laughs> I get to choose each one, huh? Oh. Light. Mm, be careful. Shadow. soldiers inside the camp than along the perimeter. The camp is massive. How many magicals have they imprisoned here? It must be well over a thousand. Beatings. To inspire fear and obedience in the other prisoners. Got a guard up there. You don't want to catch whatever they died from. Oh, makes sense. The guards are watching what the prison ground. They, they don't expect kind of anyone blue? to be breaking into the camp. We'll get it. Must be headed to Hedderad. Hedderad. Must run on their blood. <laughs> what did they just say? Never heard of a flu that runs along bloodline. Don't ask questions. Either. They're keeping an eye on the grounds below. I don't think there's a way to crouch. I think I just have to walk. I think if I can get behind them, I can, uh, like, strangle them a bit, make them pass out. Oop. Not if there's two of them together. 
see anything. Nothing. I could have sworn. <gasps> Maybe looking for Lico. It was just a bird. You don't think I can tell the difference between a man and a bird? It's dark. It's dark. Just shut up and keep your eyes open. Can I make a distraction or something? I the guards are watching the prison ground. They don't expect anyone to be breaking into the camp. Surely there's nothing I could do, right? But just to check. No. Okay. <laughs> be careful, Eco. Hundreds of dead magicals. They're dragging bodies into the factory to burn them. But why? What are they doing in this shadow-cursed place? Hundreds and hundreds of bodies. They can't all have perished from natural causes. Sick fucks. They're burning corpses. Dead magicals. Hundreds of them. Far away to see exactly what. I need to get a closer look. Wait. I think. I think I know what I need. I think I need the eye glass, right? Uh. <laughs> you can't make that jump. Come on, Keon. Maybe just one more time. <laughs> huh. I was thinking I need the uh, the eyeglass so that I could see the keypad. Okay, but like, where do I observe it from? Like, I mean... Who goes there? Can I just... Walk up to him? I won't be able to see what the guard's up to from this angle. How am I going to avoid being seen if I'm just, like, standing right behind him? I don't understand. Like, I could sorta of, kinda of hide in the dark right there, but then he would just see me when he starts walking over. It's... Uh... I mean, this would give me a front row seat, but like, surely they're going to see me. Can't seem to like hide in the corner. <gasps> Who goes there? <laughs> I don't get it. Ah. Looks like instead of jumping, you can take the little handhold place there. So I do need the spyglass like I thought. Oh, they've set it back down. Please don't turn around, please don't turn around, please don't turn around. But wasn't he human himself? But he looks human from the statues. Hmm, a shape changer then. Or maybe it was a blue eye. Why let it on Okay.
Oh, that must be the distraction. It appears Liko's been stirring things up again. Can I get a closer look with this? Liko. Shadow. Well, that's one way to create a distraction. That archway must lead into the castle proper. Didn't pay that close attention. Uh, yeah, all right. Administrator's office will be somewhere on this floor, I'm sure of it. Management always picks the topmost floor. That's the symbol of the servants' trade. The attendants and domestics that help keep this facility operational. The Makers' Guild. They're responsible for construction and maintenance, not administration. The military branch. They have a large presence here, but they wouldn't be handling the administration of the camp. That, I believe, is the official seal of the Office of Scientific Progress. There were whispers of their existence in Sadir, but I knew of no one affiliated with the Division. As far as I understand, they've been instrumental in the creation of the Engine. They're a new arm of government, and unlike most other offices, they appear to answer directly to someone on the Council. I'd say this is the best place to start looking for prisoner records and incriminating documents. The Office of Scientific Progress. Locked. Locked. There's probably nothing in there that I need. So I need to find a key or some other way to get in there. Well, there's no guards up here. That's good. If I can get around the outside. Doesn't look like it. Huh. Well, in that case, not sure what to do. Should we see what's down here? No. I believe what I'm looking for is on this floor. Okay. Fallows may have the wits of a mind bird, but some nights I swear he's right. This stone tomb is cursed. Okay, we take him out, grab the keys. What in Shadow's name? Hey, what's uh, going on? Who are you? I've done that in the past, I coming up behind him to take him out. Take me now, it's even more stuck. Should I try again? What are you doing here? Where did you come from? If one of these things fell over, it would create quite a racket. <sighs> With my shadow cast luck at Alarm! We have an intruder! Alarm! <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very effective. <laughs> um, hmm. 
It's weird. Locked. They've taught me in the past you can just come behind them and just kind of strangle them, and now it's like, nope, sorry, you can't do that. Like, all right. Oh, are they gonna leave the keys in the lock? Because it's stuck? Yeah, they did. Haha. <laughs> Need to jiggle it just right. Come on. Come on. Ah. Those years spent on the streets of Sadir continue to pay off. Okay. If I don't return the keys right now. The guard may sound the alarm. Oh. Okay. Good point. Very, very good point. Christ, what a creepy place. The necromancer king's lost his head. I wonder why they've all been removed. Well, this looks like a whole room full of puzzles. So I think I'm going to save the exploration of this for the next episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to try to find the prisoner records that we seek.